This is build an HTML5 two column layout part two. So now that we have added our content, um, we're going to add our CSS. So let me go back up to this um, image first. So basically what we're trying to move from is a page that looks like this, which is our content, but it's unstyled, to something like this. So we need to do that with um, CSS. So I'm following the notes on the Everything About website. Whoop. Um, so if we look at uh, number five, we're going to be adding the CSS for navigation content, our right column, and styling our text. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our font family to our body. So um, I can do that easily by going here into Dreamweaver. And same font family, and we're going to just use good old um, Arial Helvetica. Okay. Okay. So um, that was easy. Um, and if I click over into my design view, I'll see that indeed my um, text is now styled using Arial. Um, next, I want to um, add some styling to my navigation because, as you can see, it's still vertical. I need it to be horizontal. So I wanted to show you a really fantastic resource that I like a lot. It's been around forever. It's called Listomatic. Um, note the URL. And um, this is a great site, very old, but it has some very straightforward um, CSS for how to create simple navigation. And this is an example on the Listomatic's website. It's a um, rollover horizontal list nav bar. And if you look, it's very similar to what we want to create. So this is fantastic because it gives you all the CSS that you need to create this pretty relatively simple um, navigation menu. So if we go back to our notes, um, what I've done is I've basically just used um, the same code from that site to style my navigation. So at this point, I'm not going to go through um, this uh, one by one, but we're going to go ahead and um, copy this. And I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to put in my code to style my navigation. And um, you can see that by using that code from Listomatic, I've, I've um, been able to style a um, navigation bar so it looks exactly how I would like it to look. Let's do a really quick just preview um, just to kind of see where we're at. Awesome. Fantastic. So let's go to our next step which is to basically start adding um, our uh, layout. Um, we need to add some padding to our content div. So Let's go down to content here, and what we're going to do is we're going to add padding to the left and the right of 40 pixels, and then padding on the bottom of 20. So I'm just going to go in here. So I want padding left of 40 pixels. And I want padding. Oops, I need to do that. Padding right, also of 40 pixels. And then I want padding on the bottom of 20 pixels. Okay, fantastic. So let's take a look at it again. Okay, so now look, um, this is, you can see that we have basically broken our layout, which will happen a lot. Um, and this is basically because of the CSS box model. Remember that when you add padding um, to the left and the right, that you need to subtract that same amount of pixels from your width. So I need to change this from 660 to 580, because 580 plus 40 and another 40 for my padding on my left and the, my right equals that 660. So once I make that change and I go ahead and view it, voila, everything is uh